I'll just start off by saying it's an honor to meet you and sit across from oh, you today. I am a huge fan of your work. Thanks so much. And I absolutely love this movie, and I'm curious what drew you to this project. First of all, as a mother, I think the question of how you encourage your kid to be their own person and to be authentic, and then when it threatens you in some way, whether it's their or sexual orientation or their job or their, you know, putting themselves in danger like this, I mean, they're varying degrees. Um, of how a parent can be afraid for their child and then they can step in and, you know, then you, so I, having kids and having to go through that and having to keep my mouth shut when they're making certain decisions, I, w I thought that was a very interesting, uh, interesting line. And then, of course, I don't think we know much about these independent journalists. There's really, you know, our news has become so corporate and the people that are going outside to find the real narrative that are going, uh, you know, we don't really hear from them. We don't know what they're up against. We don't appreciate them enough. And so I thought that was really interesting to just understand uh, how that works and what these situations are. I'm a mama's boy. Yeah. So I, I'm, she's my best friend. <laughs> they're in Houston. So when I saw your character and your relationship with your son in this film, I was like, well, oh, okay, I get this. I'm very close to my boys too. And I, you pulled on your mom skills for this as well, yeah. for this role. How emotional was this role for you to play? It was it was difficult. I mean, and but also the other thing was trying to walk that line. You 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 don't have the freedom to be completely furious and scream and yell when you're trying to at the same time get them to help you. So trying to build that in a way that you know every single scene couldn't be an outburst. You're, and yet she's not getting the help she needs. And also you want the 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 audience to feel that there's a good chance that they're going to help her and then when it you know switches and the viper club shows up then that's then you're learning something else but i think that was the big thing was to try to remember where i was in terms of the storytelling especially when you don't have the luxury of shooting things in order which never happens it seems my mom works in the medical field as well, so that oh. was another thing that I related to as well. Uh, as I mentioned, they're I've... saints. The nurses, I just love nurses. They're just <laughs> amazing. And in the United States, they're the ones that have been politically just out there trying to get health care for people, and they're just so brave. And and ah, uh, you know, because I spent time in a hospital in the ER for this, and the gal that was helping me was she's been there for thirty years, and I don't know. How, how that doesn't kill you, you know, it's really so intense. And the pressure, yeah. Yeah, so much pressure and so much heartbreak. When I sat down, I told you it was an honor to sit across from me and I love your work. I want to ask you this question. I thought of this last night when I knew I was going to talk with you. Why do you love acting so much? I don't know if anyone's asked me that lately. You know, you get to be, well, first of all, I never studied, so I'm kind of just self-taught. And it just seemed like fun. I really have a good time. I like the collaboration on a set. I like doing things with other people. I like the surprise. Um, each time I do a different character to learn about whatever that microcosm is. And you know, honestly, I suffer from inertia. And if I didn't have something that scared me and forced me to be in the world and forced me to, I would probably just be at home, you know, doing scrapbooks or something. And so it, it kind of, helps keep me engaged, but I, I just learn so much about people and, and you know, when you do, a, you think, well, I would never say or do that. And then when you are walking in someone else's shoes, you realize that given certain circumstances, you can, we all feel and want and need the same things, no matter how it's, whatever the packaging is. And I think it's a really valuable kind of many reincarnations thing that helps you develop compassion and connection with fellow human beings. I love it. I love you. Can Thank you. Can you ever get you. enough of Thelma and Louise? Yeah. You're awesome. Thank you.